Hello and welcome back to CC Insiders and I'm going to be playing Sherlock Testament of, the Sh of Sherlock Holmes and uh, we are in Whitechapel after the prison escape and incident and uh, I think we are looking for Scalpel and maybe also the um, Pit because I think it was in the cemetery area bit foggy, but we will find out. Uh, this is Whitechapel. We have been here in Chapter Ripper. You ain't from around here. You shouldn't stay here. It ain't healthy. Thanks for the advice. Uh, you have anything to say about this area? A little polishing on your shoes, mister. They mm. need it. I can't really see, but I take your word for it, but not today. And you good, sir. How are you doing? You know, you want to talk to me. Could you be helpful, boy? Where are we exactly? You ain't from around here. You shouldn't stay here. It ain't healthy. Oh, what is that? No, no, no. What is that? A very fine Luther. Uh, there are in you. To, there are in you to makings of a very fine Luther. Whoa, whoa. Do we have a map? We. Do, but not local map. I'll take a little look see around here. I think. Do you stay up, sir? Maybe you should go home and lie down. You okay, sir? Sir? Well, he's okay. Definitely okay. And what is this area? Bit early to drink, I think, because I think it should be almost morning. The rat hole on Bucks Row. Ooh, Bucks Row. Anything? Woman fashion? In here? Doubt. I smell trap. There's nothing in here. Fried fish, coffee, tea, and tea cakes. No biscuits. Fish, fruit, and meats. Okay. I don't think there's anything we need from here. I lowered a little bit the game volume because I think it was a little too high. So hopefully it's not too bad at the moment. It's always hard to get those right. You look creepy. Yes. I think the first thing we need or that should be the meat area. Because this seems the clinic from the Jack the River, but we came from the other side. Usually we came from where that little boy is next to that uh, uh, thing that makes soup. Anyways, and this would be then the... Or was actually where the cobbler was and the pet shop was somewhere around here. Here. Oh, it's a rat. It's a floating rat. No, 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 don't go over. Yes. A floating rat. Ah, oh, they are the messiah. Uh, interesting. It, it seems like this would be the area where the... But it, they probably changed it a little bit from the Jack the Ripper. Oh, I forgot to check that. International Working Men's Club. That was next to the bar, which actually would be the corner bar. And then that would be around here. But again, it was different street, if I remember correctly. Yes, yeah, squeak, squeak. 
Anyways, let's not doodle, doodle. And uh, there's the clinic or dispensary. Soup kitchen, obviously, yes. Here's the public dispensary that we're looking for. Okay, we didn't have to guess even then. Are we looking for it? We are looking for it. Yeah, that's a church, that's a dispensary. And we basically would have come behind of in the Jack the Ripper. And the left would be the metery, right would be a cobbler and the pet shop. They changed a little bit the streets, but that's understandable. Also, if I remember correctly, the wall was a little lower on this side of the church and uh, broken. I don't think we... Actually, now I'm curious. Can we go... And the gentleman's cup was on the other street. Oh, here's the uh, Solomonovich. That would be the... Uh, that would be the gobbler. And then the pet uh, shop should be around here. Actually, it would have been here. And there's still the sign. Okay, they are reusing assets, obviously. But to be honest, we are in White Chapel. It should be quite similar. So that is understandable. Yes, I really have to check that. We can't go over there. I'm guessing almost certainly we can't go to the brothel where Dr. Watson was always keen to go. That seems the stairs of the boarding house or something um, like that. We aren't investigating down there, Holmes, are we? Are you sure? Oh, so the, I... Oh, you, so, you sound so disappointed because I'm guessing the brothel is moved in here. Don't worry, Watson. We can come if you want to. Anyways, what do we have here? Nothing of interest here. Nothing. So, okay. We definitely can't go in the areas except this. So, now let's use the run for first time. Okay, uh... Somebody messaged me. This is uh, interesting because actually it's early more well, early and early, but the morning for me. Uh, that's normal that I record on morning, but it's not normal that I'm actually woken up in no morning. I usually um, haven't been sleeping. That's the difference. Uh, well, don't block me, Watson. Let's see if this is the similar as it yes. A little bit nicer. I think roomier also. Because last time this would end up here. So can we closed. Closed. Yeah, this was only wall, so maybe they have more money and could actually spread around. It. Like all the sick lying here, this person is very quiet. Not surprising, Holmes, this person is too weak. She's obviously suffering from malnutrition, and for more than a few weeks now. Okay, that's not good. Not the best thing to, when you're convalescing. Uh, interesting, nothing, nothing. Um, hopefully we don't have to fix another walking cane. So, good sir, have you missed your scalpel? Good day. Please excuse us. Oh, Grant, is it you? Yes, but wait a moment. Watson, it's been years since the Faculty of Medicine, if my memory serves me right. Yes, we were young and ambitious. <laughs> I didn't expect to find you here. I thought you had gone to America. No, I find that I prefer the filth here. Amputating gangrenous legs. Ah. <laughs> I'm joking, Watson. Unfortunately, I was unable to leave for Washington. I had to give up surgery. So instead, I crouched down in this rat hole, rubbing shoulders with the world's misery. Grant, uh, treating those in need is a noble calling. 
You underestimate the importance of your work. If you say so. It's true that in the beginning I felt as you do, but as time goes by, the more this cursed area seems like hell. You think that nothing can get worse, and the next day you see that it can. Now famine has hit these poor wretches. One can't always do as one might prefer when one is a doctor. Grant, I'd like to introduce you to Sherlock Holmes. Pleased to meet you. Well, no one comes here by chance, therefore I imagine that you need something in particular. How can I help you? Well, let's start with the scalpel. Again, this camera, talking camera is a little bit off. He is behind that <laughs> target bar and, but anyways. Dr. Grant, we are in possession of a scalpel which was found in an unusual location. Does it come from your dispensary, as we believe? From its mark, I'd say it was stolen from us. A lot of things disappear from here, you understand? Life is hard in Whitechapel. When the staff find a way of adding to their salary, they rarely hesitate to do so. Thank you, Doctor. So, that's Farewell, it. Farewell, Doctor. See you soon, perhaps. And take care of yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me? So, that's it then? I suggest that we go to the cemetery next to the public dispensary. Good take game, Watson. I like your ideas. At least sometimes. And they're not totally absurd. So... Yeah, the scalpel thing didn't really pay off at the moment. I don't know if it ever... Basically... It's probably quite easy to steal it from there, or even buy. Um, I'm guessing the cemetery would be somewhere over here. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I... Okay. This cemetery is the very image of Whitechapel. Sinister, frightening, and ill-kept. What a terrible place for one's final rest. At least hunger no longer gnaws at them. Morbid, but true. And anything of interest? I'll go check. Hmm. I'm. Uh, there's a shed. Anything inside or near the shed? We have a leather shovel. This shovel belongs to the cemetery workers. I'm guessing so. Yeah. Okay, we have a leather. Um, distribution for 19th September. Through the generosity of Prince Woodwill, the new a new distribution of soup is being arranged within the Whitechapel area. Within the Whitechapel area, this voucher is valid for a meal on 19th September in any distribution area. Kurt, don't forget to pick up the tools at the cemetery and don't be late this time, Grape Ape. Grape Ape. A leaflet for the soup kitchen. This leaflet is dated for the day after tomorrow. The tickets for the soup kitchen are given out on the same day. Only somebody who works there could have written on it. Okay, good to know, good to know. So, I guess that's a clue. Maybe. We have a rope. Let us see if the elements analyzed in Baker Street and this cemetery have something in common. They're both ropes. There. Salt. Um. This rope is only worn on one side. This rope is only worn on one side. The rope used to tie up the Bishop of Knightsbridge came from this cemetery. It is only worn on the one side because it is used to lower coffins into graves. I have to say that's a quite a talent. Or pedantic worker to use only one side of the rope all the times. What is that? I'll check the. Oh no no, that wasn't the. It seemed like a 
piece of paper in there, in here. Maybe it's my eyesight. Maybe I need new glasses. Or I don't need glasses. I don't know. Okay, there's a pit. So, before we co continue over there, I'll check this. Impossible to open it. Impossible. So I'm guessing... Well, I don't have anything to use as a lockpick. So, there's that. And um, it seems like there's nothing over there. But here we have, again, a little hut and a pit. And obviously we are probably looking for this as a soil samples, I'm guessing. This must be the gravedigger's cabin. Well, judging by the state of this place, they don't work very often. Mm, well, can't really say anything about. Oh, don't block me, Watson. Where are you? Stay. Okay. Let us see if the elements analyzed in Baker Street and this cemetery have something in common. They're dirt. Anyways. We have... Black and damp earth. And... Earth freshly turned over, still damp. This dark, damp earth is the same type as that which was found at the Bishop of Knightsbridge's home. It came from a grave, then. <laughs> what a lovely thought. Well, that's the, honestly, least of the <laughs> Everest in that case. So what if it's grave dirt? The bloody man was tortured. Set your priorities straight, Watson. And don't embarrass me. And what do we have here? Let us see if the elements analyzed in Baker Street and this cemetery have something in common. They're granite. Again, I'm guessing we will find out they are... Black paint. Nope. The same black paint covers these stones. Granite. These stones are of the same granite. This black painted stone is identical to the fragments found in the rope which we analyzed at Baker Street and in the footprints of the Bishop of Knightsbridge's murderers. Everything coincides, Watson. The fragments of granite at the bishop's home came from the tombstones of this cemetery. As well as the rope that was used to restrain the poor man. One of those used to lower the coffins. I can think of only two reasons why anyone should happen to spend a great deal of time in a cemetery. Either he is at rest here, or he works here. At least one of the bishop's murderers is employed here. A shame. If he was at rest here, it would have made our job easier. Excuse me. Um, what are we doing now? Can we enter here at all? Closed. No. Let's look for a mobile soup kitchen, Holmes. Yeah, I totally forgot that we have. Again, yeah, I don't. Really have to check if I can remove those two tor no more pigeons. Five to be exact, and in the pattern. Does that tell us anything? Probably not. Although it could be a sign. Well, where is the soup kitchen? Here we are. We already noticed this little thingy. A circulating soup kitchen. Really? And you there, good sir. Oi, oi! We're giving out free soup after mass, right here. Don't hesitate. Come get yours. All thanks to Prince Woodville's kind generosity. A ticket for a hot bowl of bacon soup. Excuse me, my good fellow. You don't look like the needy. We're not here for the soup. We're merely passing through. But I would like to commend you for your good charity. Nah, it's the Prince of Woodville who's the charitable one. All I'm doing is filling the bowls. For the first time ever in this area, someone's thinking of the poor people here. Look around you, at every street corner. 
You'll find someone giving out soup, just like me. I grew up here, and I can promise you, it's the first time the Toffs have thought about us. And no one tries to take advantage of this? No, mister, that's not possible. You have to exchange a ticket against a bowl. The tickets have the day's date on them, and are handed out after mass. That way no one can cheat. Um, so what's the catch? If nobody has ever earlier wanted to do this, why now? Although, yeah, he could just be a very swell guy. Grape ape? A bowl of good bacon soup isn't for you, gentlemen. We're looking for two people called Grape Ape and Kurtz. Oh. Do you know them? Can't you see I'm giving out soup? Not really. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, mister. What is that? 36. Holmes, the man from the soup kitchen isn't only in voluntary service. Look, a money game. Okay. Are you going to leave me alone? Can't you see I'm busy? Money game. You again. You can't have any soup. You're too rich. It's for the poor, not the toffs. And what would you say to relieving two toffs of their wallets by giving them a chance at dice? <laughs> With great pleasure. What do you want to bet? Your ring against my friend's superb silver watch. Holmes! I inherited this watch from my brother. It has a great sentimental value. Watson, show your watch to our friend here. Done. Make yourselves at home. All right, mister. <laughs> First who gets 36 points wins. Okay. By rolling a die, you must reach 36 points in order to win. If you die... If you die, so it's blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, can I say... If your die shows the skull, all your points for the move are lost. So can I roll multiple times? Let's start. Three is not in. No. Eight. Twelve. I roll once more and then store and see how it goes. I want to click once more. Okay, one more. Okay, uh, let's see how this goes. So you can roll as many times as you want, but if you get the skull, you lose every point. Okay, that went nice. So I have 28. I need 8 more. Perfect. That's it. Are and you going to leave me alone? Can't you see I'm busy? I win. We win. Hey, not so fast. We'll play a game. Out of the question. You have lost. You owe me your ring. Oh, it means a lot to me, this ring. My dad gave it me before he died. He choked on his own glass eye. My mum didn't what? get over the shock of it. And she killed herself by smashing her head open with her wooden leg. What? And she'd only just heard that my sister, who's a prostitute, had caught an embarrassing disease that made all her hair fall out. And worse, <laughs> our dog got run over when he as this ring holds such sentimental value for you i will allow you to keep it what would you say to exchanging that against some information about grape ape that seems like a fair deal don't you think yeah. grape ape works with us he usually deals with the tickets but we haven't seen him for a few days where is he usually to be found well the last time i saw him he was with his mates from the dispensary then that deal with the morgue now that's all i know it is quite good enough. Keep your ring, my good man, as a souvenir of your poor father. A souvenir of me dad, me mum, me sister, and me dog. 
Okay, where's the morgue? One further thing. You said that Grape Ape's friends work at the morgue. Which morgue? The morgue at the dispensary. I must say, they got a funny job. They wash the dead, dress them, cut their hair. They clean the blood off the floor, chase the rats, stamp on the cockroaches. Mister, I can tell you, I prefer giving out soup. There isn't a certain Kurtz amongst the employees. Listen, we didn't play for info about the whole city. I'm not telling you anything else. The dispensary has got its own morgue. Interesting. Well, yeah, I've just told you so. It's the one that all the undertakers prefer. Think about it. It's just next to the cemetery. Thank you, my good man. Yeah, that makes sense. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, mister. That story that uh, he told about his ma mother, father, and sister, and daughter reminds me. How's uh, my goldfish goldie? Uh, eaten by a cat. And the cat choked on the goldfish goldie. Ain't it good to be home, Master Robin? And if you don't know the reference, it's uh, uh, it's not an uh, exact quote, but it's uh, from uh, uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights uh, by Mel Brooks comedy. It's a decent comedy, definitely. Unlike other Robin Hoods, I speak with British accent. Anyways, let's go to the morgue. Those are always hilarious places. At least I think so. Hello, Grant. How can I help you? We need to see your morgue. Tell me, Doctor, do you have a morgue in your dispensary? Yes, it is the busiest place in the building. We would like to see it. The door at the far end. The one with the unpleasant smell. Very good. Farewell, Doctor. See you soon, perhaps. And take care of yourself. <laughs> that, that was obvious. See you soon, perhaps. Do you mean he as a guest or a patient or probably in the morgue? I might actually say these games haven't been crashing none of them if I remember correctly, but I still want to say. Oh, it's a rag. Look, Holmes, a list of the recently dead. How sad. Hmm, I see names that have something in common. Okay, uh, names in common. A list of the recent deaths from the morgue to the cemetery. Sarah Ferguson, 56 years old, died of malnutrition. Oliver Boxall, 14 years old, died of malnutrition. David Levi, 45 years old, died of malnutrition. Sally Petticoat, 70 years old. John Hamilton, 19 years old. S same cause of death, suicide by poisoning? To be buried in the same part of the cemetery. They were going to be married. Is that a reference to... Romeo and Juliet? James Barnaby, 32 years old, killed by 23 knife wounds. 32 and 23, okay. Harry Copperfield, 65 years old, died of exhaustion and malnutrition. Okay, I'm still not seeing it, but maybe we'll find out. Yeah, I'm guessing the... I understand now why my colleague keeps quiet about his morgue. This place is a real mess. Concentrate, Watson. We must look for clues about Grape Ape's friends. That, that is so odd name. Well, obviously it's not a name uh, per se, but yeah. Uh, again, this is the same painting as in uh, Jack the Ripper. He's taking off his uh, skin and uh, hanging it on the coat hanger. How's my skin? Um, I guess, yeah, the smell would be bad because I... How would they keep the bodies... ...in cold? I don't know. Uh, maybe ice? Oh, what do we need to do here? Anything we can... <clears throat> ...find a skull? Um, yeah, for me, this is quite dark. Uh, oh, there. Kurtz. This is Kurtz's overall, so he really does work at the morgue. Strange that he left his overall here. Holmes, 
This is Kurtz. We've just found one of the Bishop of Nicebridge's murderers. Steady on, Watson. Um... I need something. I need something. I need something. I guess we need... Oh, no. What do we have? We have knife. Wait, what? I need... Can I not use knife? I thought we would use knife. Um. Oh, we need scissors. We have a knife. Look at the state of the instruments. They've probably never been cleaned. Well, at least the patients won't complain. <laughs> I hope they don't use these on living patients. Okay. Uh, scissors. Two keys. Okay. Uh, do we use it in here? Perfect. Interesting. Uh, oh. A small metal stem. Well, well. This Kurtz was carrying a lot of things. You don't say. So we should probably have everything. But the key, where is it? Mm. Well, we do know that the only area we can search is Whitechapel area. So it must be the cemetery where the keys can be used. Can I talk to him anything about or about Kurtz? Hello there. How can I help you? Apparently Farewell, not. Farewell, Doctor. See you soon, perhaps. And take care of yourself. Always. Yeah, it seems like we can't talk about the curse with him. Maybe... Wait. Is that a ghost? No, it's a shadow. Shadow people. I don't think we need umbrella just yet. It doesn't seem like it will be raining. But uh, I'll have to think about it. Hello there, lady. Buy my flowers, my lord, for your dear departed. Good business is where you find it. Omni consumer, com, omni consumer products, products. Day or night, I still can't speak. Let's start with this door. Okay. Perfect. And why we have this? It's open. Oh. Here, this hut is on the map. Let us search it from top to bottom, Watson. Oh, what a jumble. Quit whining. Oh, so this was on the map. Okay. There's something and there's something. Let's start with this. Note to all employees. Fell the lover's tree to make a place for another grave. If the famine doesn't end, we can expect a lot of customers. Chief P. Long. How is it that there is no room in this cemetery? You see, Watson, that's a normal problem in cemeteries. That's why they have catacombs under the parry and what else? Knight, uh, axe. Hatchet. Hatchet. Axe. Okay. Um, impossible to open it. Nothing's impossible. Let's use hatchet. Axe filled with nails. There are a lot of them. Well, really. Really? I can see a large crack. I'll need something thin. Oh yeah, there is a crack. Bags filled with... Uh, thin. Let's... Well, we have scissors and pocket knife, but let's try... A hole was drilled a short while ago. There is a sack inside this hole. Let us see what is inside it. Loot. 
silver. I wanted to do what you told me to do, but it didn't all fit in. So I've closed the chest and have hidden the rest with Romeo and Juliet, the two newcomers. We are making headway. How do we know what this means? This message confirms that we are on the right track. Valuable objects. But what are they doing here? Seriously, Watson? It can't be this dull. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. They were the two poisoned youngsters. So we need a shovel, probably. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... Um... This shovel belongs to the cemetery workers. How do we know where they are? I think I have studied everything from here. Um, I don't know if I need to go back to Morg. Or not. Um, because I have no... Oh, closed. So I don't have keys. And I need to find the bodies of the two young person. Where is the tree failed? You are creepy one. Um, is there something on the tree? Can you, if you watch the middle tree there, there's some light area over there. Is that marked? Or is that... Well, let's go and see. It seems... A lover's tree. Yes, there's carvings in it. Okay. What do we do with this information? Or with the... Sally and John, Julia and Edwin... Eva and Ben, Mary and Brian, I woo you. Is that G and L? Okay. Here is our tree. Let us examine the inscriptions. Why? Sally and John. This design was the last to be done. Sally and John is engraved here as a symbol of their love. And? So... Here is our tree. Let us examine the inscriptions. Sally and John. So what now? Okay, I have a... Sally and John. Sally and John. I can't leave from the screen. Okay, this is... Oh, finally. Yeah, it... That means I need to make a save. That was interesting. I couldn't actually leave from the screen. Uh, so Sally and John. What do we do that with that information? Yeah, they're two lovers, I know. But do I need to go back to the morgue? There was... I was thinking... There is actually a engravings in these uh, graves I, I'm not looking at it so are we trying to find a similar engraving in from nothing of interest here apparently so because we can check those so is it this area or somewhere else ah well we find it found it so here it yes, is it must be there okay and I need something well we need the shovel I've been trying to pick up quite a few times now well actually I didn't know we would I was guessing we would need it but yeah anyways let's grab this that. shovel belongs to the cemetery workers you frighten me Holmes Steady on, Watson. We're just robbing some graves. You can get an achievement for that. A grave robber. 
Well, actually, you don't. But you should. This must be the grave. Dig quickly, Watson. Very well, Holmes. Oh, Look, nice. A metal box. Okay, and that seems um. The lock on this box is rather sophisticated. This box comes from a bank. The criminals must have held on to it after a hold-up. Okay. What? Seven, two, six, three, four, four, seven, five, eight. Seriously? The numbers match with this. We have same numbers here and here. Are you serious? We are just trying to get this number over here. How does this move? Okay, we can move two. Two. How do I move move one if I want to move? Um, I can't move the eight. Interesting. I can move the eight now. Okay. Okay. So I'm Hmm. How does this work? We definitely need the 7 in the front, but how can I change? Oh, sorry. Um How do I split these? If I'm moving them at a double, how it works? Because I need the seven in the first part, I think. <sighs> Okay, I need probably. Okay, let's see. Let's move this forward. Okay. And we need or around there. Come on. Come on. So, I can move now the four and eight. What is the last number we need? Four. Six and four. Six and four. Well, we have four, three, four, but that's not good enough. I'll still move the 2 and 6 here, move the 7 and 5. 7 is in the correct situation. Now we have to get uh, 8 and um, we can move in 
okay now we have eight in place we need two and three actually this is going here we can put this over here we have there we are it is simplicity itself <laughs> okay i was just taking the first parts and not the last part so okay well it interesting puzzle interesting puzzle what do we have another key, key must be important to be hidden here Yes, I would say so. Anything else? These candlesticks are undoubtedly stolen. A hammer covered in blood. Used to probably torture someone. Well, we can... Holmes, there is someone in that hut. I saw Watson. Come and keep your revolver at the ready just in case. Oh, no. Watson with the revolver. That won't end up... Okay, now I remember why I didn't uh, record on morning or day. I got distracted by phone calls. Anyways, I had drink also, so we can go back to continue adventuring. Finally made a... Now I'm not going to answer anything if anyone calls. There's nothing important happening at the moment. So Open up. We're not the police. Do not be alarmed. That's a strange way of reassuring someone. That's a strange way to reassure someone with gunpoint. Holmes, they are children. My God, one of them is hurt. What do you want? Don't come any closer. Are you the police? Don't be afraid. I am a doctor. I'm going to look at your friend's wound. Wait, Watson. I've got some questions to ask these children. This is urgent, Holmes. In this filthy place, the risk of infection is very high, and the wound could get worse with every second lost. The immediate danger for these children is not so much the wound as Mr. Fletcher. Who? Look at the wound, Watson. It's thin and precise. It was made by a sharp, well-kept blade. Any other blade, less well-kept, would have torn the tissue around it, and its size would be irregular. So what does that imply? In this area, who would take such great care with a blade? A butcher, of course. And the only butcher in the area is Samuel Fletcher, who at this moment is replacing a window that has been forced open. He's a man to hold grudges, as anyone around here will tell you. The children are in danger. A man as skillful with a knife as a butcher, and with a bad reputation to match, could easily strike a fatal blow by cutting the child's jugular. If he hasn't done it, it's surely because these little thieves broke into his shop at night to steal a piece of meat. The poor lighting in this area saved them. I can assure you that Mr. Fletcher has spent the day trying to trace these children. And if he finds them, wounds will be the least of their problems. That's... that's true. What do you want? Don't let the butcher find us. Where the hell did Holmes get all that? Well, that's Holmes for you. Anyways, here. Dr. Watson will see to your wound, but the treatment won't be free. I don't need to remind you that life is hard. You know that already. Give me the address of a certain Kurtz, and the doctor will dress your wound. No address, no treatment. Ooh. I... I can't tell you, mister. Kurtz is a dangerous madman. We need to... Holmes, the... you go too far. You have frightened the poor child. Mediation? Afraid? Uh, mediation. I could give Mr. Fletcher a compensation for the damage to his property, and he would certainly give up trying to find you then. But for that, you'll have to cooperate. Or else? Or else he'll likely find a less agreeable way of repairing the damage. Wait, mister. I know everyone here. I'll help you. Only protect us from the butcher. I am looking for Kurtz. Tell me where I can find him, and I'll smooth things over with Mr. Fletcher. Everyone here knows Kurtz. He's the worst person in the area. We call him the Colonel because he fought against the Zulus in Africa. He got chucked out of the army because he's completely crackers. He lives at number eight, Betty Street. Good. Watson, see to the wound. Then we will settle the problem between these young men and Mr. Fletcher. You will find Kurtz at the number eight, Betty Street. To get, the, to get there, take first left turning out of the cemetery. Then the right, first right. The number eight is on the right at the end of the blind alley. We must protect these children from that butcher, Holmes. It won't be necessary. 
I've had dealings with Samuel Fletcher before now. He's not the monster I've made him out to be. If he had wanted to kill them, he would have done so, even in dim light. By wounding the little thief, he wanted to warn him never to set foot in his shop again. Forget Mr. Fletcher, Watson. You... you mean you lied to frighten those poor children? Exactly. Clever, wasn't it? Okay, um... Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Let's continue. So, I'm oh, sorry about the noises. Um, I think I'll. Well, Mister, that's a mighty fine outfit you're wearing there. You stand out like a sore thumb, and that's no lie. Watch that you don't get it all dirtied up. But you'd be welcome to come back to my place. It's not far, and I'd sponge it down for you. <laughs> Back to Jenny's place. <laughs> You'll get malaria. <laughs> Thank you, madam. I'm certain that you would make a very good job of it. Uh, that will not be necessary, however. Uh, but your thought was a kind one. We had best be leaving now, sir. Here, please accept this sovereign as a token of my gratitude for your concern. Well, I never. Thank you. That's right, generous of you, my uh, lordship. You are very welcome, madam. Madam, he calls me. Bless my garters. What a gent. If you're ready now, sir. Yes, let us go. What a remarkable man, the Prince Woodville, to talk to such a woman as though she was an equal. Let's find Batty Street. Honestly, like I said, I really don't remember quite a lot of this game but still the woodwill gives me a um let's just say certain aura that he's not what he appears to be i might be totally wrong and yes danny from the check to ripper uh am i going on the right i don't know is this a bad street no this is burno street am i going Wait, am I supposed to go over there? Okay, I might as well run. Yeah, as before we were rudely uh, interrupted, I dis uh, I was going to say that, yeah, I'll try to get this Whitechapel business done. So what is this street? This is the bad street. Yeah, I was uh, looking on the wrong way. Anyways, yeah, I'll try to... S Let's see how this white shovel thing goes. So it would be nice to have this done in this episode. So, well, it hasn't been too long for now. So I guess we can do it. But you can't. You really don't know how long these are. There, prison took me a little while longer than I thought. But let's see. Where's the eight? That's the eight. Closed. Okay. Oh, oh! I have a key. I forgot totally. My God, Holmes! It's appalling, and the smell. Okay. But what can have happened here? Stay calm, Watson. Take note of every detail and be careful not to move anything. Very well, Holmes. Ah, <sighs> poor dog. Cuts not so much. Before we check. The corpses, I'll check everything else. A crumbled notes. They illustrate a London news. Someone wrapped some meat up in this newspaper. The blood is still fresh. And what is that? Grapes! What are they doing there? Good question. No idea. Okay. Oh, there's something still. Um... Uh... This is oh. yesterday's newspaper. Okay, yesterday's news. Anything else? And you have to be careful. Now I've checked it completely. I think that's an opium pipe over there. Broken glass. 
Whiskey, probably. A military badge of the 58th Infantry Regiment of Her Majesty and a letter stipulating Kurtz's exclusion from the unit. He served in 1881. At that time, the regiment served in South Africa. Kurtz was in the Boer War. Interesting. And... Uh... Died on Bora's side. Who died? A newspaper covering the war in South Africa. Kurtz must have been following the war with some interest. The Boer War is abominable, and it still rages. Well, it's understandable that Kurtz probably would uh, follow the Boer War news. Oh, I'm stuck. What do we have here? Bones. The dog's bowl is empty. Someone brought food for the dogs, probably just before the fight broke out. And just after they had been fed, they attacked a man to eat him. Incredible. Let us look at our deduction board, Watson. Not yet. Because I want to check the corpse first. Oh, we apparently should have checked the corpse first because now we know that the dogs attacked Kurtz. Well, what? Gee, what would what could do that? The material on this tray is rather odd. A small burner. Opium. Small burnt balls. Small burnt balls. A pipe with a strange smell. There can be no doubt. Judging by the material on the tray and the pipe, the man smoked opium. Opium. I doubt if this man could have made his drug here. He would have needed a real laboratory. But, yes, yeah, so I was saying, uh, yeah, we probably should have checked the corpses first. So, dog. Dogs. Um, I'm stuck. Dogs eat food. Dogs get angry. Dogs attack curds. Why would we, that why would that be the case? Obviously, they were poisoned with the aggressive poison. What a horrible wound. This part is in shreds. The skin tissue has decomposed, yet the death is recent. The shreds, you say? What is the that? The skin was deeply torn. Okay. Mm, I guess nothing else. We can check it now. Yeah, we checked everything. And what about you? What a horrible wound! Definitely not nice. This part is in shreds. The skin tissue has decomposed. Yet the death is recent. So same as the other one. The skin was deeply torn. Again, this is exactly as the other one. And now the poor fellow. Well, oh, he's losing his his. He has lost his finger. Where would that be? This bandage is a day or two old. No more. This bandage. So can I? Okay. Please take note, Watson. The same finger that we found at the Bishop of Knightsbridge's house, Holmes. Watson. <laughs> what terrible wounds! The dogs must have been rabid. Well, you are correct about that assessment, dear Watson. It is a dog bite. I can see the tooth marks. Oh. Only a dog could inflict so deep a wound. But it appears that the wound was gnawed at afterwards. Okay. So, maybe he himself... Uh, oh. This part is in shreds. The skin tissue has decomposed, yet the death is recent. You shred, you say. And again, same as the dogs. Um... Oh. Uh, do we check the boots? Size 9. Hobnail boots like those worn by laborers. Hobnail boots. And chocolate hobnobs. What a horrible wound. Okay, so we check these. Anything else? Size 9. Hobnail boots like those worn by laborers. Um, have I checked everything now? Should... Hey, 
There's something over there. Definitely something over there. Oh, a little bit stuck again. Again. A torn piece of a letter. Colonel, I have heard that the heads of the Malan commander do not appreciate your operating methods. Methods that they judge as being too expeditious, even cruel. We are defending our land. Our cause is holy and just. We need competents who are honorable and motivated, not wealth-hungry assassins. There is no room here for opportunists like you. Okay. Interesting. Anything else? It seems to be a letter of dismissal. Yes, it seems like it. Have I checked everything? Well, there's door. Is that the... That's the door we came in. Let's check the deduction board. Yes, 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 yes. Um, pipe, dogs, man to dogs. Instrument, finger. Okay, let's start from here. Uh, pipe. The man smoked opium. The murders had poison that causes madness. We already know that. The dogs were fed just before the murder. There are numerous bite wounds on this man's body. There are numerous bite wounds on the dog's bodies. The man ill-treated his dogs and they turned on him. The man's dogs were used to torture him. The man fought severely, savagely against his dogs. Well, apparently they were fighting savagely. The dogs were poisoned. The dogs were hungry. The dogs were trained to kill the man. No, they were poisoned. Um, because yes. Uh, what now? Then we go probably down. Instruments. There are no available instruments here for preparing opium. This man is missing a finger. The man couldn't couldn't have smoked opium. Of course he could. The man was given a pipe that already had opium in it. The man had a supply of opium. Uh, supply or... I'll go with the supply. This man is missing a finger. The bishop tore aggressor's finger off with his the teeth. Well, the dogs ate this man's finger. What? This man cut his finger off. This man is one of the bishop's murderers. Hmm. We're missing something. Uh, poisoned. Savagely tortured. Savagely. Yeah, there's, those are definitely, I would say, correct. Well, the man was given a pipe. My deduction chart is incomplete, Holmes. We are missing an important detail. Let's return to the clinic and ask if our friend might lend us his morgue for two hours. What are you going to do? I'm torn between a nap and a picnic. Oh, I've had enough, Holmes. The next step of our investigation, Watson, leads us inevitably to a post-mortem. As you're well aware, in the instance where a body's vital organs no longer function, every minute is vital. Be quick now and procure the room while I arrange the transport. Very well. I will see you later. Okay. What are we doing here? You control Dr. Watson. Uh, anyone here? May I take a sip of that? I'm guessing whiskey. <clears throat> uh, I guess we go here then. Ah, Grant, you are still here. I need to ask a favor from you. What sort of favor, my dear friend? Might I use your morgue for a couple of hours? It concerns an affair of the greatest imp... Use the morgue? Whatever for? Letting you poke your nose in everywhere is one thing, but closing my eyes to I don't know what unsavory practices. No, it's nothing like that. No, it isn't possible, sorry. Grant, listen to me. I... Don't insist. Where do you think you are? Perhaps because you come from the rich area, you think you are entitled to do whatever you like. But here in Whitechapel, it's the real world, you understand? The real world, where we have to take risks. 
Do you even know what that means? And this shabby health center where I've been stagnating for years, it's a public establishment under my authority, for whatever that's worth. I am responsible for it. Responsible, do you understand? Of course I understand, Grant. Good. I understand, first and foremost, that you are a coward. Wh Ooh. What? A coward, I said, sitting on your backside behind a desk for years, complaining about your fate without even trying to change a single thing about it. I won't allow you. And you dare to talk to me about risks. I, who was wounded in Afghanistan while in Her Majesty's service, and who, for a great many years, has taken part in some of the most dangerous criminal investigations the country has ever known. But... As for being responsible, as you call it, it begins with doing your job properly, particularly when one is a doctor and caring for the poorest people within our society. I... The real life? Ha <laughs> ha! Don't make me laugh. I am a doctor too, Grant, don't forget. And I am ashamed of my profession when I see the state of this centre. It's not my... So, your disgusting morgue, you are going to allow me to use it, dear friend, because I urgently need it for a vitally important affair that is way over your head, and whether it pleases you or not. Understood? If you want to be like that about it, do whatever you like. I wash my hands of the entire thing. That doesn't surprise me. You go, Watson. <laughs> so what are we... Are we opening... This is a dismal place. Have you ever carried out a post-mortem, Holmes? It requires a great deal of precision. Don't worry, I learn quickly. Hand me a bone saw. Are we actually doing a post-mortem? Well, we have cut... Um... Pig's corpses, so why not? What do I need to take? Uh, do I need to take something? I'll check if I can see anything. Mm. Go carefully, Holmes, even so. Even so. Um, this is pipette, uh, scalpel, tweezers, and a rip spreader and cotton. I don't know what we need to cut. I'll take the scalpel. Let's start with here. Again, I have no idea what I was... I must clean the body first. Okay. I must mark the places to cut. Oh, okay. Uh, anything else? I can't do that. So, let's cut this open. I have no idea why we are cutting this open, but I guess Sherlock has a good idea of what we are doing. My notches are ready. Okay, uh, let's grab the spreader. Uh, do we need to do something here? No, it is unnecessary. Okay, no more. Uh, do we... A ball of paper, swallowed recently. Right. Then, uh, I think we're done with that. Let's cut some more. No, it is unnecessary. Uh, tweezers? No, I can't do that. Pipette. No, I can't do that. Pipette it is, then. This liquid found in the lungs should be able to tell us something. Okay, what what now? Uh, have you... Oh, let's... No, we can't check the paper from here. Curtis map, 13th Burner Street. Burner Street. What should we do next, Holmes? I must analyze the contents of my pipette. Oh, so... We are not going to Burner Street then. Can I jump from here? What do we got? Uh, the gambler. You have never failed to play the game. Hidden message. See the value of imagination. Number lover. With all respect for your natural acumen, you handle that very well. You opened the safe box. Well, thank you. So, can I jump straight from here we don't have a map i am missing some information oh do we do it here okay chemistry material and smells as bad as the one in our sitting room at baker street mm, 
This liquid found in the lungs should be able to tell us something. Uh, do analyst evidence? Okay. okay, we add it, and there you go. And we already know what to do. So, four blues, one gray. Then, next one. Five. Two, two. Okay. What is this? Four, one, two. Was it the green? Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, my brains are not working usually. Yellow. Two and two. Two browns, two greys. And last but not least. Well, that was the easiest one. Degeneration. And apparently very virulent. Very virulent. Result of the analysis of the poison that was administered to the Bishop of Knightsbridge, a substance that provokes heightened aggression close to the madness of this fatal, in this case, Deathbiker. Um, results of the analysis of the poison that was administered to Kurtz, a substance that provokes heightened aggression close to madness, considerably heightened the subject's muscular strength, provoked extreme degeneration of his of skin tissue following deep wounds, substance non-fatal. So it seems that I'm guessing it was administered to dogs and cats. Okay, what now? Okay, it showed us a direction board. Can we do something here? Um, oh, there's lungs. Oh, there are traces of opium in Gert's lungs. The man mixed the poison with opium, then sold it. The man was poisoned by a mixture of opium and poison. The man drank opium. Well, no, he was poisoned. So, the man was poisoned by the same poison as the bishop. The man went mad because he was an opium addict. The man was murdered by the bishop. Seriously. Okay. Well, what are we missing? Do I need to go down? Is th oh, there's something here I didn't notice. The man was poisoned by the same poison as the bishop. His accomplices brought him this pipe. His accomplices prepared this pipe for him. His accomplices didn't prepare the pipe for him. Brought. The man was poisoned by his dogs. <laughs> yes. The dogs, they're, they're sneaky ones. The man was poisoned by his accomplices. The man was murdered by his accomplices. Well, he was poisoned, the m but obviously the murder probably was the intention. That was a most instructive post-mortem. This man was murdered by his accomplices because of his missing finger. I see. He was overly conspicuous walking around with a bandaged hand, as the police would have been looking for a man with a missing finger. But how did they manage to disguise the murder by making it look like a dog attack? The post-mortem revealed the presence of poison in his system. Everything points to it being a less potent form of the poison we found in the bishop's rooms. This man died as much from the poison as from fighting against those animals. I believe this new version of the substance provokes such a rage that the victim attacks anything in his path, and in this instance it was dogs. We're dealing with sorcerer's apprentices, whose creations are ever-evolving. They are attempting to obtain a particular effect, and they try out their formulae on human guinea pigs. You're saying that his accomplices forced him to drink it? No, he took it himself, voluntarily. The poison wasn't to be found in his blood, but in his lungs. I also discovered numerous traces of opium. I'm beginning to see. They mixed this horrible poison with his opium, knowing that he would soon smoke it to ease the pain caused by his wound. 
Exactly. And such a profound knowledge of both chemistry and toxicology is uncommon. Very well. We know the reason and the manner, but we're really not any further ahead. How will we find the two other men who murdered the bishop? By going to 13 Burner Street. It is in this area. But where did you get that address, Holmes? From his stomach. I see. He wanted to get rid of the address. No, he wanted revenge. I don't follow you. When the man with the missing finger began to feel the effects of the poison, he knew that he was going to die, and he knew that there would be a post-mortem. Shall we go? Sneaky. Very sneaky. Oh, we are not done with the Whitechapel. Okay. So, on next episode, we are going to the 13th of Burner Street, and apparently place where you can get opium called opium den i'm guessing so, i had hoped to finish the white chapel on this episode but to be honest uh i don't think we're doing it because i'm almost certain that the opium den is not a place where we can just waltz in and get the information so i'm guessing we have to do something there so i have no idea how long that will last and this is an optimal place to end this episode and also there's something happening outside i mean uh, there's a uh, some kind of work going on there so i don't know if that's going to cause problems with uh sound so i decide that this is the end so anyways i hope you enjoyed this episode and i will see you next time and until then goodbye